Hey guys, I spend over 200 nights a year in hotel rooms traveling on the PGA Tour. Gyms aren't always that great where we travel, but here in our hotel room, we have plenty of space. I'll show you some stretches and exercises that are really easy for you to do at home. If you're looking for power, I have the perfect stretch for you. It's gonna help you in your hips and in your shoulders. Your hips are gonna be really stable in your lower body and your shoulders are gonna be really mobile and flexible to get you all that power that you really need. You're gonna get into a half lunge, just like this. You're gonna look at something in front of you, square up to that with your hips. Outside of your palm is gonna be facing away from you. And all you're gonna do is just tap your hand and just open up just like this and reach as high as you can. Do five of those and then we're gonna to switch to the other side. I know a lot of you have lower back pain. A lot of golfers in general have lower back pain. I have the perfect stretch for that. It's called the cats and dogs. What you're gonna do is get on all fours on your knees and your hands. You're gonna get on your fists so you can eliminate tension in your hands and in your wrists. Just get on your fists and it's really simple. You're gonna go, you're gonna flex your abs and go straight up, crouch your back like a cat. And then you're gonna arch your back like a dog. Cats and dogs. If you only have time to do one stretch before you head to the tee, this is a stretch you have to do. I don't really have a name for it, but let's just call it the Tony. You're gonna lay down just like this on your back. You're just gonna fold your and either leg to the side, all the way to the side, and you're gonna open up your hand just like this. Try and keep your knees on the ground. Just hold that for 10 or 15 seconds on each side. And just try and open up as much as you can, keeping this knee down on the floor. If you need to get to the first seat really fast, that's the stretch that you have to do. Well, there you have it guys. Work those stretches and exercises into your daily routine and I know you'll get results from that in your golf game as well as just in health in general. But now that I've told you guys how to do all those stretches and things, I've got to head to the first tee. So I've got to go.